Hello, World Wide Web. Welcome back to Hanging With. I'm GW Pometer. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, go ahead down there and hit subscribe. If this is your first time, thanks for hanging with us. We are at Pensacon 2016, and we are here now hanging with Sherilyn Kenyon, the best-selling author of... Well, we're going to start right from the latest work, House of the Rising Sun, right off the bat, uh, Born of Betrayal, and, and many, many and sundry. So lots and lots <laughs> of work to choose from. Um, so let's, um, let's kind of start at the beginning. How did you start writing? I was raised in the middle of a whole lot of boys, and it kept my sanity. My first book was about a girl who murdered her eight brothers and got away with it. All right. Daughter's back there. Oh. It's got a lot of oh, brothers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a lot of brothers. It's <laughs> ideas now. So um, so at any rate, um, so let, let's talk a little bit. We'll start at the most recent work, okay? Uh, House of the Rising Sun. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of the book blurb for yeah. people to look for? Oh, um, duh. Oh, gosh. Okay. It's Greek mythology. He's, I... Now, I know, I, I, in general, your work tends to take a lot of things and, and pull them in yeah. into a neat fantasy, horror, romance sort of... You do the ultimate mashup. <laughs> yeah. Because there's a, lot of, there's a lot of what we would think of as kind of the classic traditional guy stuff. Right. But then there's a lot that, obviously, people are very happy about. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what, what kind of, what drew you to mashing those things together the way you did? My father was a drill surgeon, and he was my sympathetic parent. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. Know, right? Yeah, that would do it. My, I had my drill sergeant for 12 weeks, and I never wanted to see him again. I, I know, You had right? yours forever. Yeah, and my husband wow. was in the Army, so, and I didn't, never realized how much of it took till I got married. It takes. And I fall right into it, and I have wow. three sons. And so I issue orders in staccato. <laughs> and my husband's like, I'm having PTSD. You can't do that. So, yeah, no. I, I get the same from my sons. My, my, yeah. my kids all grew up and went in the service. Yeah. Oh. So oh, yeah. they just, they did, you know, they, the regular world just wasn't working for them. They yeah, were like, yeah, no, yeah. my dad didn't do it that way. So yeah, yeah, they yeah. went and found a place that did do it for them that yeah, way. Right? So that's kind of cool. You just sort of, and you just create these universes yeah, now. Yeah. And um, how, how many books do you have out there right now? I don't count them. Kind of like a poker player. When I die, they can count them. Oh, okay. It's a bunch. Just keep doing it. I know bunch. it is a bunch. <laughs> I, I have I, ha I have seen more of your books coming in and out of the house than any other author. <laughs> I promise yeah. you. Uh, and so, all right. So we're going to, um, oh, uh, that's just an interesting tidbit. I did not know that. Uh, the, the Lords of Avalon, the novel has been adapted by Marvel. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, I love Tom. So, what's it like to see your characters now, oh, it's very visually? Cool. It's very cool. Is it? Yeah. Well, yeah. I started sequential art was my, one of my majors. In oh, really? One. I, you know, one of your majors in college. Notice I have to say that. Hmm. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> 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 my sons. I'm telling you, one major. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, oh, great. So to see your characters now come kind of, kind of come off yeah. the comic page has got to be really kind of neat. Oh, that's great. That is cool. Okay, well, it's hanging with. And so part of what we like to do is everybody knows your name, everybody knows your books, but we want to tell them a little bit about Cheryl. So the girls have devised a kind of little personality quiz. Okay. And so we get random questions. I don't know what they are. So we just look over here and we find out what it is. Okay, okay. as a writer, you're up a lot writing. So we want to, what's the ultimate midnight snack? I don't eat. <laughs> uh, midnight snack. Uh, what do I eat? Um, hmm, midnight snack. Usually I'm yelling at my ch children to go to bed at midnight. Uh, no time for mom to eat. Yeah, no, it, it's usually uh, ramen noodles. I'm yelling ramen at my child noodles, not to make them at midnight. And, and, you, know, and you get stuck with what they've already made before you send yeah, them to bed, right? Yeah, that's usually okay. I'm going to clean that up. <laughs> right, well, we're, we're at a con, all these fantasy uh, folks here, uh -huh. right? And so we're getting everybody to weigh in on, on some of the big uh, versus debates that are happening mm -hmm. this, this year. Right, right. So Batman or Superman? I'm Batman. Batman, Batman. all the way? My brother's first words were Batman. Really? From the crib. I'm Batman all the way. All right, your brother's first words were Batman. Because that's all I said to him. That's awesome. My mother was so mad. Because <laughs> it was not Mama or Dad. It, it was, it was Batman. Batman. Okay. <laughs> Cap or Iron Man? Okay, that's harder. Yeah. Because I'm torn. Really? I know what my kids would say, but I'm torn equal. 
Oh, okay. So that from your That's a little bit of a harder one, huh? Yeah. That one's hard for me. Okay. Golem or Dobby? Golem. Golem. For me. Yeah? Okay. All right. That, actually, we're, we're right now, if you're taking a poll online, Golem is three for three. Really? So if three authors that we've got, we've, that question pops up randomly. The three authors that we've asked have all said Gollum this, all, all, universally. So favorite bad guy or villain? Can't be one of your own. No, Joker. Joker? Batman. Batman. Batman, 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 Batman is the guy, Batman. huh? Batman. All right. What are you thinking? Ben Affleck, new Batman. Are you, are you excited for it? Are you nervous about it? I don't know. I, you know, you after Iron know? Man, I'm not, I reserve judgment. Because, you know, at first, when, when they were sitting there and they... They said Robert Downey Jr. is going to be Iron Man. It wasn't I your was, thing. I you were threw like, a tantrum. I was like, no! And he ah! owned it. He yes. owned it. So after that, I, I eat humble pie. Okay. I will All never right. question a casting So you're just going to look at I it, right? I go with it now. And okay. I'm like, you know? <laughs> okay. So this one's always a fun one. What's your favorite color? Okay. How would you describe that to a blind person? How do you, you know, describe You know, my brother blind? has the freaky monochromatism. Really? So he sees no color. Wow. So I've kind of had to describe so, color my whole yeah. life to, you know. So, wow. What's your description of black? What is, uh, what is the... Just dark. Dark. <laughs> dark. That, okay. There you go. <laughs> black, is, black is dark. If you get no other insight out of this, you've got it's black dark. is dark. All right. And if your dad's a drill sergeant, you're probably going to make worlds up in your mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they put the Hogwarts sorting hat on you. Where do you end up? Yeah, alone on an island. <laughs> I fit nowhere. I really fit nowhere. Probably Slytherin. Slytherin? Okay, okay. Well, the, you've got the wardrobe. That's See, true. you're good. That you're all true. set for that. How's the con going downstairs for you? Fun. Is it is it a lot of fun talking to readers and fans? Some of them I know accosted you a little bit. And yeah, we know. apologize for that. No, we didn't. <laughs> yeah, nothing scares me. Nothing I, scares you. Know. I, I read some of your stuff. Nothing scares no, you. No, I, I, the best thing ever. You know, my brother was six foot four, and you know, he was a green beret. And so here I am. I'm in fifth grade, and my brother comes in. Jerry, get up! I'm watching a horror movie. I'm scared. Come watch it with me. I'm like, what are you gonna do? Throw me at the monster? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so and this of course this whole thing. In the Sherilyn Kenyon universe, though, you can get thrown at the monster and it works out for you. That's true. See, you know, that so that like, works yeah. out really well, you know, in, in nowadays. So thank you for hanging with us, Sherilyn. We really appreciate you coming up and doing and doing the interview. And uh, check out Sherilyn. I would I would give you a book title, but let's just go with House of the Rising Sun and check. Go on Amazon. Check out all the Sherilyn Kenyon stuff. Um, it's all been read through our house, and we love it. And it, it really is. It, I, I pick on her a lot, but it's good stuff, and we're happy that she's into it because we get to read some of it too, uh, before she takes it back and gives it, <laughs> gives it to other people. So, but check out House of the Rising Sun is the latest, and go uh, Google Sherilyn Kenyon if you can't find anything. You'll find it. I promise you. <laughs> Thanks for hanging with us. We've been hanging with Sherilyn Kenyon from Pensacon 2016. Remember, stay logged on, stay tuned in, and see who we're hanging with next. The Submit to Darkness series by indie author A.J. Spencer is now complete. This dark and twisted erotic thriller spans three books and follows FBI profiler Natasha Stolt as she hunts the serial killer known as Grimm. Will you become as obsessed with her prey as she does? GW Commenter, thanks for logging on and tuning in. We are here at Pensacon 2016, and right now we are hanging with author Mario Acevedo. He is the author of the best selling Felix Gomez Detective Vampire series. Also, he's a Wordfire Press author, uh, the author of Rescue from Planet Pleasure. And uh, he's going to hang with us for a few minutes and talk a little bit about the con and and what's going on uh, down on the floor, as well as these fantastic books. So, welcome and thanks for hanging with us, Mario. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, how's it going down on the floor? So it's it's a great con. Uh, really busy. Uh, I'm really overwhelmed by the enthusiasm uh, and, and the great welcome that you received here in Pensacola. That's fantastic. What's so? Uh, you got the Felix Gomez series, and you're downstairs with. Uh, Rescue for Pleasure Planet. Yes. Uh, do you have Felix Gomez books down there? Yes. I've okay, got so the whole what, are they, what, are they, what are they buying today? 
What have they been buying? Are they buying uh, Arrested have been buying Rescue. They've been buying the first book, The Nymphos of Rocky Flats. And, oh, okay. And the second book, X-Rated Bloodsuckers. X-Rated Bloodsuckers. Yes, wow. That, that, that's, that's pretty good stuff. Thank, man. You. Thank you. So, okay, let's talk a little bit. We'll start with Felix Gomez's series. Sure. And let's talk a little bit about the premise of the series and where it came from and, and what was your inspiration for that? It came out of desperation. Desper Des that that's desperation. A, that's where what, author finds what happened. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. What happened is, is that I had a. I always thought I wanted to write like regular traditional men's action thriller, and uh -huh. I had a story that I thought for sure was going to get me a contract and all that, and it just didn't go anywhere. So I said, "The hell with it! I'm going to write the most ridiculous story I can think about." which is this vampire detective investigates an outbreak of nymphomania at a nuclear weapons plant. And I pitched it that way to an agent, <laughs> and an agent goes, sounds different. Yeah, sounds yeah. Different. I, yeah I and that, that was the first one. And then uh, he came back to me and he goes, hey, they're interested in it, but it has to be a series. Give wow. me another title. And I go, X-rated oh, blood suckers. Give wow. me another title. The end it's Kama Sutra. All right, okay, you're in. Nice, so, that's fantastic, okay. man. That is awesome. And so, now what about, uh, we have uh, Rescue from Planet Pleasure. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about this one. Well, uh, what, what happened is, is in uh, one of my books, one of my, uh, Carmen uh, Ariano, one of the really bodacious female vampires got captured by aliens. And that was in book three. All right, and all I had vampires a out there. There evidently is a problem for you if you get caught by aliens. Yeah, and they and they took her to this planet, and I had to get her back. And it wasn't until this book that I figured out how to bring her back. Okay. She's being held by the aliens on Planet Pleasure. Planet Hence Pleasure. Hence, rescue from Planet Pleasure. Yes. Yeah. You know, most of us aren't trying to be rescued from that. If planet. you're there, you would want to be rescued. Oh, from okay. Planet All right. Because yeah. most of us are trying to book our tickets. Yeah. No, you know, no, so, this is not, you know, <laughs> it's not the place you want to be. Not the place. As a human. As, as a human, not a good place to be. No. Okay. All right. Well, Mario, let me, let me ask you. We've got sure. some fun questions. It's hanging sure. with. It's kind okay. of casual, okay? So we want to know, out there, the fictional universe is so huge. Right, Who's right. your favorite fictional villain or bad guy? Fictional bad guy? Yeah. I, you know, in, in, like in a supernatural world, I always liked Lex Luthor. Do you? Yeah. yeah. He, I always liked the fact that he was this human. But he could get the better, best of Superman. Yeah, you know. That's, that so I thought that cool. was kind of cool. Yeah, I that, that is. Cool. That is kind of cool. So I, in, in my heart, I'd like to be less. Like, wow. Okay. So, uh, yeah. He, yes, you saw the same card I yeah. did. Okay. So that's you know these are the things that the fans want to know, right? So okay. when you're arrested, who will it be with? Who will you be with? Who do I want to be arrested yeah. with? Hmm. Well, I can tell you who not. Probably not with the person that Hugh Grant got arrested with. The time. <laughs> you know, I, I, I probably not that person. Not, not that person. I want. I don't want to go there. Okay? okay. Not that I'm judging. Not that I'm judging. But that would probably be something that's, I would. That's not, not your. That's not your first choice yeah, at so. all. No, okay. No, no, no. Well, I'll tell you what. As a writer, I know yes. uh, I spend many hours up late nights. Uh, with my characters, right, right, um, and I know you do too. Yes. Okay. So we want to know what is your favorite midnight snack? Most favorite midnight snack. That's a good one. Um, if it's available, actually, believe it or not, just pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin. But Mari Acevedo is a pumpkin pie guy. Yeah, that's so right. So if you guys are waiting for that next book and you want to see him write a little faster, send him some pumpkin pie. It'll keep him up all night. Uh, but my working. number one guilty pleasure. Oh yeah. yeah. Lace barbecue potato chips. Lace that's barbecue. Like, potato that's like heroin crack. That's like heroin and crack. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, do you have any projects that you're currently working on? What's going on inside? Uh, I'm actually business? working on the sequel. Okay. Okay, the next sequel, book. The this Rescue from Planet, Planet Pleasure. Pleasure. Yes, We're right. finally going to get our, our, our vampire back, back from the aliens. Yeah. So now i got to mess it with him and send him back to an alternate. It's a steampunk story. A steampunk So he's got to go back to this alternate steampunk Earth. Wow. And he's all messed up because... Wow. You've been hanging out with Dave and Quincy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now yeah. you're gonna, you're just going to mix, mix and mash it up, right? That's correct. That's that correct. is fantastic. Well, Mario, thanks for hanging with us. Oh, man. no, my pleasure. I hope my the pleasure. con is going really it's, well for you downstairs. It's been a lot of fun. I appreciate this. Yeah, we've seen so many great people oh, down yeah, there. Yeah. The cosplayers are amazing. Yeah. They really are. And so, hey, thanks for hanging with us. We've been hanging with Mario Acevedo, the author of the Felix Gomez Detective Vampire series. And when you're outline, you can, online, you can get Rescue from Planet Pleasure and more to come. 
from Wordfire Press. Thank you very much for My hanging pleasure. with us, Mario. Thanks, everyone, for logging on and tuning in. Keep coming back for more and see who we're, we're hanging with next.